Hi and welcome to Abrasive Imaging. This video is about the pen blaster and the CB2 blast box. Um, and this video is about sand blasting without a cabinet. Here you can see an already installed glass door which you are going to sand blast. So at first we have to prepare the sand blasting mask. Here we are working with the Hellas E unit with vacuum to grant a perfect uh, result and perfect details. This unit um, exposes the film within six seconds and no matter if it's three, four or five mil. So with, uh, for sure with UV light. And here we're going to wash it with uh, high pressure. So the pump pressure is about 60 bar and we are using a very special flat spray nozzle. So here we wash out the film and remove um, the stencils. It's not cut it and peeled off. So this is the sandblast equipment. So um, the plastic can is for the abrasive and this is a pen with a hand release. Very simple, very easy, very light. This is a CB2 blast box which you can add to any shop vacuum cleaner with HEPA filter. It should be a professional one, so not this one you're using at home. And here you can see how to apply the SR3000 photoresist material. That's a sandblast mask. So the masking material. Very easy to apply so it doesn't stick um, too much to the, to the glass so you can remove it again and align it very easily. Then you need a, a plastic burnisher to apply the mask correctly so and to remove for sure the air bubbles between the glass and the film. You can also work on metal or wood or um, on, on stone for example. So it really doesn't matter where to apply the SR3000 and what you're going to sandblast. The mo most important is that you don't need a cabinet from my point of view. Now you have to remove the plastic uh, carrier sheet. This is just needed to apply the film correctly. And here we are using um, a brush roller, a wire wheel brush, to remove the air bubbles. And then we are taking a, a rubber roller to apply the film correctly and the sandblasting mask for sure. Because we have little details, little spots of the half tone raster. And uh, the wire wheel brush, um, it's uh, really needed to, to remove any air bubbles for the fine details, so that the fine details are in contact with the glass or with the stone. Well applied. So you can see the membrane, the perforated, so and uh, the wire wheel brush um, didn't cause any mistakes in, in, in the half tone, as you can see. So that's the CB2 blast box. So it comes along with an adapter for any hose sizes. Very easy to fix, very light. And this vacuum you um, have on the, on, the, on the glass is enough to, to collect all the dust. You can wear for sure um, a protection mask Additionally, but here you can see that no dust comes out. And the abrasive falls right on the floor. For sure you can, uh, you can collect the abrasive uh, with a cyclone, for example, a cyclone between um, the vacuum cleaner and uh, um, the CB2 blast box. And it's very easy to use it as you can see. You can also correct um, parts which you didn't sandblast it well enough. So, and uh, the membrane of the CB2 blast box is very soft so it doesn't scratch um, the details of the glass.
Now we just have to remove the, uh, the, the sandblasting mask, the sandblasting stencil. It's very easy. There is no residue left if, when you are removing the, the sandblasting mask. It comes off very clean, as you can see, very easy. Here we go, that's it. Also the half tone raster comes off in one piece if you if you made the artwork correctly. Now you just have to, to, to clean the rest of the glass and um, I used also an uh, anti-fingerprint um, coating, a white coating, which you will see a little bit later. So that's the original engraving. It's not coated now. And now here I use the white coating for it. And it's a perfect, perfect engraved picture. So that's that's a video I wanted to show you concerning sandblasting without a cabinet with our pen blaster and you can contact us anytime under info at abrasive-imaging.de. Thank you for watching.